and welcome to All Nighter. I'm your host, Elliot Linton. Thanks so much for joining me. It's been a long time. This is our first show of 2015, and I couldn't be more excited about the lineup. Our professor guest is the director of the Princeton Program in Theater, Mr. Tim Vassen. He's not only director of our program, he's also been the director of many plays around the world, including the world premieres of Boris Gudinov and Eugene Onegin, and presumably some plays that aren't just the names of Russian dudes. <laughs> Our student guests are Brandon Holt, Naima Hakim, and Destiny Crockett. <laughs> they did a, had a huge part in organizing the Black Lives Matter protests earlier this month, and they were involved in a large number of social justice issues around campus. We've got a lot of important stuff to talk about with them. First, we're going to have to figure out if we can even fit three whole guests on our little baby couch. Little <laughs> baby! <laughs> um, and finally, our talent guests are the folk duo Baker and Goods. <laughs> One of them is from New Zealand, so they're half as good as Flight of the Concords, <laughs> and probably twice as good as Simon and Garfunkel. <laughs> I don't want to spend one more second up here alone, so I'd like to welcome out my good friend and co-host, as well as this month, the winner of a Pine Prize. Congratulations, but um, what's with the, the greenery? Thank you, Elliot. But with this great honor comes great responsibility. <laughs> I am now the representative of the entire Pine community. <laughs> what does that mean? As a Pine scholar, I am the voice for all the coniferous souls out there. <laughs> the gray pine, the Austrian pine, the ponderosa pine, the longleaf pine, the foxtrail pine, and of course, the east pine. <laughs> Nothing to do with the award, but I'm literally in no position to disagree with you right now. So I'll take the Just time. Let me bless you. Okay. <laughs> All right. A lot has happened this month. Uh, for starters, the Princeton University received the largest gift it's ever gotten in its history: uh, a collection of 2,500 rare books and manuscripts, totaling a value of about 300 million dollars. The university, I know, the university said it was extremely grateful for the gift, although it would have preferred uh, an iTunes gift card of equal value. <laughs> I'm still mad that Firestone doesn't have a complete collection of Captain Underpants. I know, it's like, where is number three? Exactly. <laughs> Everyone's favorite, number three. Yeah. <laughs> the Captain Returns. <laughs> uh, on Tuesday, the university had a case of measles on campus, no. leading to a, a large scare about the possibility of another campus-wide outbreak which makes a lot of sense considering that measles is one of the most contagious diseases in the world. In fact, the only thing more viral than measles is that dress that could either be white and gold. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, I, I think I have measles. Really? Yeah, like, like little crabs on your genitals, right? <laughs> I, uh, that's something else. But soon, remind me. Don't worry. College, Valerie Smith, uh, it was announced, will be the next president of Swarthmore College. Woo! Exciting for them, sad for us. Um, but she's replacing the incumbent uh, president, let me get this, uh, President Hungerford? Yeah, President Hungerford of Swarthmore. So Swarthmore <laughs> is not only excited about Val Smith because she's incredibly qualified, but they're also excited to finally have someone on campus whose name is easy to pronounce. <laughs> Swarthmore. It was also announced that John Stewart will be stepping down following uh, 17 years as host of The Daily Show. I know everybody's speculating, wondering what he's going to do next year. And I don't mean to start rumors, but you know I'm going to be stepping down at the end of the year. Someone's going to have to take over. Hell yeah. You, you know that this position has to be inherited by your eldest son. <laughs> I was promised I could be regent. I am not a He's still a The Pentagon has asked uh, Congress to stop buying outdated military equipment that the Army doesn't need and can't use. It's really a big issue. Um, yeah. <laughs> so after the announcement, uh, John Boehner was seen at Lockheed Martin trying to re return a battering ram and a battering ram and twenty war elephants. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even get you much. No. 
barely anything. Cracker Jacks, maybe. Uh, TBS got called out this week because people found out it was speeding up its broadcasts of the show Seinfeld, like by 7%, in order to cram two more minutes of commercials into every episode. <laughs> yeah, pretty gross. And a lot of fans have been left asking, what's the deal with... <laughs> I mean, do we really... <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> It is pretty cool, though. The other day, I watched the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy in 15 minutes. <laughs> Plus, afterwards, there were eight and a half uh, hours of Coors Light ads. <laughs> uh, <riveting work. laughs> uh, one of the world's most prominent climate change-denying scientists, Dr. Wei Hock Soon, was caught this month having accepted over a million dollars from fossil fuel companies that he did not disclose. Now, Dr. Soon has uh, assured the scientific community that this money has nothing to do with his scientific conclusions, which is really easy for him because he's very good at denying things that there's blatant evidence for. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, way not. Uh, Birdman on Sunday swept at the Oscars, taking home Best Director, Cinematography, Original Screenplay, and Best Picture, uh, reminding all of us that what's really important to show business people in Hollywood is movies about other show business people from Hollywood. <laughs> I'm just glad that the sequel to Catwoman did so well. Yeah, Birdman. <laughs> Um, Netflix launched this month uh, its video streaming service in Cuba. It's become one of the first U.S. companies to expand services to Cuba ever since the trade restrictions were lifted late last year. It's also the first time since the Cuban Missile Crisis that good news has been accompanied with a sentence, launched in Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> Big whoop. I have been shipping VHS tapes to Cuba for 15 years. <laughs> what's, your, what's your selection? Actually, it's mostly Jim Carrey's The Mask. <laughs> I want rewards for watching. They love it in Um A 79-story skyscraper in Dubai had a major fire this week. Uh, thankfully, no one was killed, but it was still a big shock to the wealthy capital. However, it's somewhat less shocking when you hear that the name of the building was, and this is true, the Dubai Torch. <laughs> Thankfully, the Dubai Collapse is still standing. <laughs> and finally, Croatia has elected its first ever female president. Woo! This is, yeah, very amazing news, but you have to consider that they were under a lot of pressure from their grad board to... <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, was that just a Croatian T.I. joke? <laughs>